Okay, we learned in first year the water cycle. It has four stages. Stage one, evaporation, where water in the lake or river, when it's heated, turns into a gas called water vapor and it rises. Then it goes high into the sky, it cools down. And when that water vapor or gas cools down, it converts back into a liquid and that liquid forms a cloud. When the sky overhead becomes completely saturated, then rain starts to fall. So to summarize then, all rain is caused by hot air rising, cooling, condensing, clouds forming, the air becoming saturated and rain falling. Now there are three types of rain. We have cyclonic rain, relief rain and convectional rain. So for the moment now I'm going to concentrate on cyclonic rain and explain it to you how, it, how it's formed. It's the most common type of rain over the Midlands where we live. So, if I just draw this here, this is a cold air mass coming from the North Pole. So we have cold air here. So this is our North Pole up here. And we have a warm air mass coming from the equator. So this is our equator here. And this is warm air. Now, let me explain that cold air is very heavy and very dense. Warm air is light. When the warm air meets the cold air, it cannot get through it. So the warm air is actually forced to rise up over the cold air. So the warm air is forced to rise up over the cold air like this. So it's rising up here. And as that warm air rises, you can, you'll be able to finish this out for me, as the warm air rises, it cools, condenses, clouds form, and you end up with, with cyclonic rain. Now, on a weather map, on a weather map, this is how it will look. This here, this line here, will be called the warm front. And it's a red line with little semicircles colored in. Right? This here, this line here, will be called the cold front. And it's triangles, little triangles. Okay? So, this here then is the warm front, cold front. Now, this area here is warm air. This is warm air and it's called the warm sector. What's it called? Warm, warm sector. Warm sector. What kind of air have we up here? Cold, cold, cold air. air. Cold air. Now, this whole system here is called a frontal depression and it forms out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Why do we have so many frontal depressions forming off the coast of Ireland out in the middle of the Atlantic? Hands up. Yes? Because it's in the middle of the equator and the North Pole. Excellent. We're ha excellent. We're halfway between the equator and the North Pole. So, I'm going to show you today's weather map. We, before class, we were outside and we saw that the sky was covered in a complete blanket of cloud and it was drizzling. What was the name of that cloud? Stratus cloud. So, if we go to our weather map for today, we'll see how the frontal depression looks. Bear with me for one second, please. So I need a slideshow from our slide. Let's hope I have a yes. So 
This is how a frontal depression looks on a weather map. What's this line here called? Warm center. Warm, warm front. This line here is called the warm front. What's this line here called? Cold warm front. front. And what's this area here called? Warm sector. The warm sector. Now we were outside. This is what's over Ireland at this moment in time. So what type of cloud do you get in the warm sector? The blanket of the cloud called stratus. stratus. Now, I'll show you how it works. So we'll just recap on our clouds now. This is our cirrus, stratus, cumulus. Now, with a frontal depression, with a frontal depression, cirrus clouds always appear in the sky just before the warm front approaches. So in the old days, before people knew anything about weather, the old people used to say, oh my God, those mare's tails in the sky, that means there's rain on the way. Right? So if they were making hay or something like that, they would work really fast to try and get the job finished. By looking at the clouds, those cirrus clouds, they knew there was rain on the way. So cirrus cloud always comes ahead of the, of the frontal depression. When the warm front then moves in over the country, the cloud turns to stratus cloud. And then when the cold front moves in over the country, you have what kind of cloud? Cumulus, Cumulus cloud. So we can actually predict the weather. We can actually predict the weather by looking at the clouds. Now this frontal depression formed out here a couple of days ago in the Atlantic and it moved across the country. Now some of these fronts move very fast in a matter of hours. They move at huge speed. Some of them can be very, very slow moving. So, can you tell me please, what is the weather conditions in the south of England behind this photograph at the minute? What is the weather conditions in England? Windy. Drizzly. Drizzly. It is drizzly. And it's quite warm. Now, let's pretend that this cold front is going to move across England later on tonight. And that England, that the cold front is actually going to be running along here. What will be the weather conditions in the south of England tonight, please? Hands up. Drizzly. No. What type of cloud will it be? Cumulus. You will have cumulus cloud. So what what kind of air is out here? Cold. No, this is the warm air here. What type of air? Cold air. Cold air. So what's going to happen over England tonight regarding temperatures? Excellent. The temperatures are going to drop. Are going to drop. <clears throat> so, this whole weather system then is known as a frontal depression. It gives rise to cyclonic rain. It forms when this warm air mass here meets this cold air mass here. The warm air is forced to rise up over the cold air and as it rises, it cools, condenses, clouds form, and rain starts to fall. Now, does anybody have any question? Okay, we'll leave it at that, so. Thank you.